Hello guys and welcome to episode 31 of my game grabs. Hey, let's start out with at Goodwill I picked up Crystallis. This is cart only for the Nintendo and this is four bucks. Next we have Spider-Man for the original Xbox. This is complete. And this was two fifty at Goodwill. Half price books. I picked up Resident Evil for the GameCube. Has both discs, but um, it doesn't have the manual. And I got this at half price books. And it was let's see six fifty. On Amazon, I picked up a Classic Control Pro for the Wii, and this, I bought it brand new for twenty bucks. I have I ha I used my gift card, so it came out free. At a thrift store, I picked up a Nintendo Game Boy, the original fat version. Um, it also came with a AC adapter, and this was. Seven fifty. At a different get Goodwill, I picked up a Game Boy Color. This is a great cut version. Um, the contacts are a little corroded, but I was able to scrape some of it away, so it turns on just fine. And this was four bucks. At a different um, thrift store I picked up a Game Boy Advance SP and what's unique about this one is it's the um, China version so it's the frontlit screen and instead of saying um, I can't remember what it says in the front but it says IQ instead And it plays games, the US games, just fine, and it also uses the same power adapter. And this was seven bucks. Okay, at half price books, I picked up Dragon Crystal for the Game Gear, and it was five bucks. Um, at that same thrift store, I picked up these Game Boy games. Um, Brain Bender was one fifty. Kicks one fifty. Bad and Rad one fifty, and the Jungle Book was one fifty. Also Yoshi for the Game Boy one fifty. And I don't really buy a lot of stuff off of. Um, off of shopgoodwill.com very often but it comes in this little black bag I get picked up another uh, Game Boy Advance Micro and it's in better condition than the one that I bought off of Craigslist a few years ago for 20 bucks and this was 36 before shipping and 46 after shipping. So not a bad price. And I currently have um, Golden Sun, oh not Golden Sun, um, Namco Museum. And it came in this little felt pouch. Okay, off of GameStop.com, I picked up Persona 4 Golden. This is a solid gold edition. There's only 10,000 made. And I pretty much paid full price for this. Uh, about 77 after shipping. Um, last last uh, month 
Half Price Books was having a sale. Um, so the highest item was 50% off. So I decided to pick up Final Fantasy VII Strategy Guide for the PC. So it was 15 after the discount. And it's a neat strategy guide. Everything's in black and white though. Except for the maps on the back. And okay. different goodwill I picked up Street Fighter 2 Turbo for the Nintendo. And this was 250. When I was taking the price tag off, it, it took off some of the back. Looks just fine. Let's move this. Okay. Um, Cyber Monday, I think it was. Yeah, Cyber Monday. Um, Amazon had a sale on brand new copies of Zelda or Karina of Time 3D. Um, I got this for $9.99 shipped. Um, it was originally $19.99, but I had $10 left for gift cards. Also using my gift cards, uh, I got Persona 4 Arena for the PS3. Even came with the soundtrack CD. It was originally priced at thirty bucks. Also got Under Defeat HD Deluxe Edition for the PS3 off of Amazon, and I had this paid off for quite a while. It's basically a shooting game um, remake from the Dreamcast and arcade versions. Comes with DLC patches, digital artwork, and soundtrack CD. And I believe this is exclusive to Amazon.com. Okay, in a trade I got Black Sigil. Blade of the Exiled, Nintendo DS, kind of a 2D um, role-playing game, for 75 cents at Goodwill I picked up Arrow Rings, Dreamcast, I normally don't um, pass up on Dreamcast games if I find them cheap, and they are non-sports titles. Okay, at Half Price Books, I picked up um, Gundam Battle Assault for the PS1. Seems like a cool um, I think It's like a 2D fighting game. At a local record store, I picked up Chu Man Fu, and this is for the TurboGrafx 16. And it was complete. It has like a little inventory sticker. Um, it's complete with the hue card and the instruction manual. No out of box, but that's fine for me. And it was 35 bucks. In pretty good condition too. And another goodwill I picked up the Nintendo GameCube um, Game Boy Player. This is the boot disc, and it came with a manual. 75 cents, so I'm really happy to get this. I already had one, um, so I sold my extra copy on eBay for about 35 bucks. It's kind of weird how the boot disc is actually worth more than the accessory itself. Probably because it's easier to lose. Um, next, I picked up Super Smash Bros. Melee at that same Goodwill. Um, this was, I believe, around two fifty. It's the one that says bestseller on the front. It's missing the manual. I already have this game, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. 
Half Ice Box 650 I picked up. Mario Party 5 for the GameCube. Of course, it's missing the manual. For the Wii, I picked up Punch Out. And this was a half price book, so it was $6.50 as well. This one has like the front cover ripped off. And then part of that 50% off sale, um, I picked up, picked up God Hand. So this ended up being 10 bucks instead of 20. This is an interesting game. Same people that did Okami. Seems to get like a little repetitive though. And another trade I picked up AR Max Action Replay for the PS2. Found out it only works on the fat model PS2s and not the slim that I currently use. Kind of sucks, but it's good to have. Goodwill picked up Desert Strike for the um, Genesis. This was, I believe, three bucks. And again, I usually don't pick up Genesis games, but if they're kind of unique looking and cheap, then I'll pick it up. We have Sonic Spinball Genesis. This was. 250. It's complete. And I also picked up a PS1 memory card. This is a clear blue one. And this was, I believe, 150 at Goodwill. Okay, lastly, I picked up. I don't know if it's going to show up. This is the Power Joy. It's a plug and play for the TV. Um, it has a cartridge, this is a limited edition. Um, it has 84 games through the cartridge slot. Um, it's complete as far as having the accessories, but it doesn't have the little cardboard tray it comes in and the instruction book. Basically looks like this. It has a it takes four triple A batteries or you can have the power adapter to plug into the wall for one of the sockets. I haven't tried it yet, but I have no reason to believe that it won't work. And if you read up on this company that produced these um, it's pretty much banned and they were sued by Nintendo and all that. So it's kind of a neat collector's item. And I found this at Goodwill for four bucks. Probably won't even use it, but it's still good to have. So guys, that's my pickups from the last month or so. Oh yeah, I forgot one game. I also picked up Uncharted 3 for the PS3 and I already beat it. It's a pretty good game. I know I don't know why it took me a year to purchase it, but lately I've been kind of cheap in buying new games. I'd rather wait until they go down in price. And I knew that one would, so fifteen bucks shipped off of Amazon, brand new. It's not bad at all, so thanks for watching and I will see you next time. And if not, before the end of December, um, have a good holiday season.